<clears throat> As many of you know, I uh, go to university and I study a subject called illustration, which is art. I do art. And uh, one of the projects, the most recent project that I did, uh, is I think quite interesting and I filmed some of the work that I did for it and um, yeah, I'd like to do a video on it. So this is that video. Welcome back people, this is Dark Creates. My name is Joshua Dow and I'm an artist. Normally I find it not too easy to combine sort of projects that I do for university and making YouTube videos because they take a lot longer than my usual videos. I cannot plan them ahead. I don't know how they're going to end. Usually it's more than just one outcome um, or it's just something that I don't find that interesting myself because it's something that I'm tasked with or it's something that I find interesting but don't think it would be suitable for a video in this channel. However, this project is a little bit different because I think at least one aspect of it is quite suitable for this channel and uh, quite similar to what I have uploaded before myself um, with my own ideas. We were given a Shakespeare play and were to design like three to five of the characters and a set design as well as make a small animation. And the twist about this is that we don't have to stick to just the normal Shakespeare play, but we can basically do whatever version we want with it. So after a little bit of development, uh, I had the idea of making the play that I have, which is Hamlet, into sort of a modern hip hop version of it. I'm really pleased with the outcome. Uh, I actually put a lot of work into the story and really like it. Since I have done videos before of turning something into something else, like characters from different time periods into modern characters, which is sort of what this is, or taking Harry Potter characters and turning them into Lord of the Rings characters, or stuff like that. A playlist of these videos you can find here, by the way. I thought this would be an ideal project to base a video on. So here we are, let's get into it. The ghost of the King of Denmark tells his son Hamlet to avenge his murder by killing the new king Hamlet's uncle. Hamlet feigns madness, contemplates life and death, and seeks revenge. His uncle, fearing for his life, also devises plots to kill Hamlet. The play ends with a duel during which the king, queen, Hamlet's opponent, and Hamlet himself are killed. Now this is a very concise and uh, short summary of the play Hamlet by Shakespeare.org.uk and uh, there's obviously a lot more going on in the play but I won't get into it too much. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it anyway um, but I thought it would be kind of good to have that as a base to start on. So yeah, I sort of did a hip hop version of that and I guess I will get more into the details of my story later on, but um, I should probably tell you what I'm doing here. So recently I've started doing a lot more sketchbook work uh, before I go into digital work. So especially with this uni project has really helped me to develop the ideas in a sketchbook kind of just get everything out on paper I have it right next to each other as well different small sketches to relate to one another uh, which just helps with thoughts rather than digital work which is sort of you have a file for every single drawing and you don't have them right there in front of you all the time for me it's just been working to first start out uh, traditionally and then get into uh, the digital work which we are doing here I'm starting out with the main character, of course, uh, Hamlet himself, who is, in my story, a sort of young MC, conscious, smart, has like uh, very deep raps in that, but he's also sort of still a very blank page, um, so he hasn't really developed himself that much yet, and he is signed to a label slash venue called uh, the King's Castle, which, which represents sort of the court, the castle, which um, in the original play, this venue slash record label is owned by uh, Old King Soul, who is also a rapper and also a DJ, who represents, of course, Hamlet's father, the king, who returns as a ghost in the original play, and he dies supposedly from a, a drug overdose. However, Hamlet knows that he does not would never take any drugs that he is uh, a sober person uh, so that's where he gets his like first suspicions that uh, there might be something afoot 
I'm going to try to, as best as I can, sort of tell the backstory and, and share my design process at the same time, uh, which might not be the easiest thing, but also like I want you to understand what this is about, but also what is going on right now, what you're seeing on screen. Uh, so I'll try my best. Anyway, what you're seeing here right now is me trying to figure out how he looks. And even though the task, the uni task was mostly to make costume designs. I really wanted to nail down his look as if I was doing a character design as well, um, just so I could figure out who this character would be in my own head. And it really helped me to, with all these characters, to compare them to um, real life rappers. And this character Hamlet is very heavily based on uh, young Nas, who is my favorite rapper. And uh, I think captures the the guy I was going for very well so he also kind of looks like him so um yeah anyway uh, what you see me do here is trying to figure out which hairstyle you would have or what what sort of headdress or something so I tried a bunch of different hairstyles decided to just go with a simple one in the end but I gave him a golden bandana which could represent a crown as he is a prince in the original play and also would give him something to be recognizable on stage uh, distinguished from maybe other characters in the play Hamlet also go goes astray goes mad um, throughout the play here what I'm doing here is trying to design sort of a deteriorated state for him uh, what he might look like later on the play in the play how he might change on that uh, these are not the final versions that it changes but um, yeah that's what I'm doing here So now I'm finally working on the actual sketch for the final design that this character will be. And as I'm doing that, I guess I can get back to sort of the backstory, the story for the play that I am creating here. And where was I? The last thing I was saying was that his father, well, not his father in this situation, but his mentor in this situation, his father in the original play was killed by a drug overdose, but he knows it's not going to be that essentially because he didn't take any drugs he was against them um, so he has the suspicions then in the original play um, his friend Horatio sees a ghost um, the ghost of his father and then he talks with him and that I thought for my interpretation it'd be a very interesting way also thinking about how it would look on stage to sort of find a, a, instead of seeing a ghost uh, this is not my play is not supernatural um, Horatio would find lyrics that um, Old King Saul wrote before he died and uh, he would have kind of already suspected that he was going to be killed so he wrote these lyrics about um, him dying and the ghost would sort of be him performing in front of a screen having the um, or like a white canvas or something wearing a white suit having the lyrics projected onto him and then he would perform the song uh, on stage. I thought that was a really cool idea and you will actually see the design for that later on in the video. Uh, I probably should have told you the context to that once it comes just for the sake of making this chronological uh, sort of the play. Uh, I'm just uh, gonna say it now anyway. Right from there on I'm not gonna go into too much detail even though I have actually play, planned out this version of the play quite uh, in detail um, but I'm not gonna say all of that here. Um, well, from there on it goes on to him thinking about what he's gonna do, is he gonna kill this guy, then he calls another guy by accident and uh, moral dilemma and he also starts using more and more drugs and um, that kind of initiates that deterioration of character that I hinted at before and I actually drew him in that state as well which you will also be seeing later and yeah I don't really know which details to add in here that would be relevant for you to know um, to kind of summarize it the best but uh, well, if you have any questions, I have this planned out quite well, um, so uh, fire them away. I don't want to bore you with all the um, details of this silly story that I made. But I actually, like, I, I really, really enjoyed coming up with this, and uh, it was definitely one of the most fun projects I've done for uni so far. Uh, right up my street character design, obviously. If you know my channel, if you watch more of my videos, you know that that's completely what I love to do, and. Um, 
given the freedom to do with this play whatever I like. Even though designing the actual play itself would have probably also worked quite well for me because uh, it plays in medieval times and I really enjoy designing medieval characters as well. But still I really enjoyed having the freedom to do whatever I liked with it and sort of setting it in a more modern setting and to the 90s hip hop setting which is probably my favourite thing like period <laughs> um, and yeah hip hop is a huge part of my life I listen to it every single day and it's one of those art forms like as a creative myself I when I ever see art or something I'm like I want to do that myself or something but hip hop is really an art form that I love to bits to just solely enjoy um, and would <laughs> never even dare to try my own hand on of course but um, yeah, I think there's a beauty in that as well, just having having something that you love to enjoy, um, to see others do, hear others do, but don't participate in uh, yourself. With that, we're coming towards the end of this illustration, which is probably the main illustration of this video and of my project in general. But since I did more character illustrations for this project as well, and also a different version for him, and a set design and an animation, I'll show you those before I show you the final result. These two boys that I'm drawing right here are the characters Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, I believe they're called. And they are actually not two big characters in the play, but I had a fun idea for the concept for them in my version of the play. However, I quickly realized after I'd drawn them, first of all, that I wasn't too fond of the drawings themselves. Uh, they kind of turned out weird. And also that their costumes in terms of making a play didn't make too much sense if I were designing these two characters. I should have made them look more similar and I don't know, have a have a more recognizability on stage as who they are. So I so I did finish this drawing but I did not actually submit it as part of the final submission for this project. The next character I designed uh, is much more important for the actual play, he's a much bigger character and also I was far more happy with the way the design turned out, how it would be perceived on stage and how I think it fits with his character. Um, so this is Horatio, in the original play he's like a guard or an officer or something at the castle and he's also a very close friend of Hamlet's and in my play he would also be a very close friend of Hamlet's and he'd be sort of a voice of reason, he'd take care of himself a little bit more, he'd be better at school and he'd just be a very smart character sort of and I wanted to reflect that in his uh, looks. Also when it comes to his rapper identity sort of I, I imagined him to be sort of inspired by Slick Rick and that sort of uh, type of rapper very clever rapping I don't know how to describe it if you have not listened to Slick Rick I definitely recommend you check him out it is sort of that type of rap where he says every rhyme and it feels like he has a smile on his face as if he knows more than you as if he's just I don't know just a very clever person um, and yeah that's sort of how I uh, imagined Horatio to be as well Next up here we have Ophelia, who is Hamlet's girlfriend in the original play. Uh, she ends up being driven mad. One of the reasons for that is Hamlet accidentally killing her father, and the other reason is his unreturned love, even though he does love her, but because he himself is driven mad, uh, he smites her and uh, treats her badly, and she ends up drowning. Um, yeah, and in my version of the play, I'd sort of have basically the same role for her. She'd just be a uh, kind of cool. Uh, character, she'd be uh, friends with him and very reasonable, not friends with him, his girlfriend, very reasonable on that sort of thing. Then he also, he starts using drugs, starts treating her badly, um, and then her father is also killed, which leads her herself more, more and more into addiction, and she ends up even like using her body to get a hold of more drugs. She ends up also like overdosing and drowning in a whirlpool uh, when she is like at the venue and um, yeah, taking drugs and that sort of thing. This in the end causes um, Hamlet to return to the venue and kill King Claude or plan to kill King Claude um, because he blames him for bringing so many drugs into their lives and, and causing all this by killing uh, King, old King Saul originally. 
So on the left, you can see her in the beginning of the play, sort of just a uh, kind of cool character. She's wearing a t-shirt um, with uh, with Hamlet's logo on it to kind of support him. And then on the right, I drew her in a sort of more deteriorated state as well, when she's kind of losing it and uh, not putting effort into her looks and sort of just looking tired and worn out. And then the last character that I drew is Old King Saul himself, and this is probably the best idea in terms of stage presence that I had, as he only appears as a ghost himself in the original play. Uh, I didn't have to design him the way he would look, like normally, so I designed him in the way that I said uh, before already, sort of in a white, completely white costume in front of a white canvas, and then have the, the lyrics that he'd written before his death projected onto him and have him perform the lyrics out. I think this is a really, really good idea and actually the animation that I made uh, kind of shows that idea put into practice a little bit more. Um, I will put that at the end um, as well so you uh, can, can get what I mean completely. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, with this design and I really like this character as well. I think he'd, he'd be kind of inspired, he'd also be a rapper and he'd be kind of inspired by sort of Dr. Dre, Guru from Gangstar, RZA sort of vibe, sort of, I don't know, a little bit older, more composed. Um, they know exactly what their style are. They seem kind of almost wise. Um, yeah, and I, I really like those type of rappers and uh, I like him as well. So that is essentially all the drawings done. Sorry for the last two not being actually recorded like with a camera, but only the, being the uh, Procreate time lapses. That was because I was not home when I drew them. Um, so yeah, this was a bit of a longer YouTube video. I apologize for that, but that's just what happens when I turn uni projects into videos because they just take longer, I guess, and uh, there's more expected as an outcome than for my usual videos. I really hope everything was quite easy to follow the story. I know I was kind of all over the place with uh, explaining what I meant and what was going on and that sort of thing. Uh, if you have any questions, again, put them down below in the comments. And while you're at it, also uh, click that like button, please, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And definitely let me know if you enjoyed this and if you'd like to see more of my uni processes or if you'd like to see more in the kind of hip-hop direction because uh, that is a big part of my life and I love it but it's uh, not something I've done a lot of videos about before and then with that I guess we can finally take a look at the final images so here we have Hamlet the Mad Poet <laughs> state of de-evolution as I've drawn here. I've not included it in the video. Then here we have his friend Horatio. And his girlfriend Ophelia. Her as well in her normal state and then in a kind of deteriorated state. And then here we have old King Saul in his costume. Plus the version with sort of the writing uh, projected onto him. And finally, I've mentioned it a couple times throughout the video, I also made an animation, so uh, you can see that now. I didn't include the process for the animation in here because it would have just been too long and it's a whole different subject making videos on animations and stuff like that. But if you would like to see me make a video about animation, first of all, uh, leave a comment and let me know if you would be interested in me doing more animations. But also if you want to uh, watch previous videos of me uh, making animation, then check out this playlist right here. Uh, I've done a couple videos on it and uh, yeah, I think they're quite fun and insightful. But with that, finally, here we are at the end of the video and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This was actually a project that I enjoyed a lot and uh, I think this would actually make, even if not a play, I think it would make a cool uh, film or story. I think the story of Hamlet was quite easily uh, projected onto a different setting, specifically this setting. Uh, it just kind of goes very well with the kind of madness that is a big topic in uh, the original play being sort of drug use, drug usage or not, uh, it translates quite well and also kind of the tragic aspects of it. Um, I think there are a lot of tragic stories that if you listen to hip hop you know that a lot of these rappers have gone through and they've known people who 
overdosed on drugs or who were stabbed or shot or stuff like that and it's it's tragic it's heartbreaking yeah i think this story is also kind of tragic and heartbreaking so it will probably translate quite well into um something like that i'm also kind of heavy at heart a little bit i don't know if you say that but i just did um to let the story go but because yeah as i said i, I really enjoyed it and i kind of really like these characters and would like to see more of them and kind of draw more of them so i don't know it's a very distant possibility but if you're actually really uh interested in it i think i might kind of continue having these characters around um possibly i don't know um time will tell and also time is a big factor and if I even have time to uh, do that with all the other projects that I'm uh, doing and work and, and, and I don't know, life, you know. But possibly let me know also if that would be something you'd be interested in. With that, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel here if you haven't already. You can find a playlist with more videos on uni projects that I've done here and also maybe a video that you might like right here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Bye-bye.